So let's say we want to fetch our database that we are having a database and we want to fetch some data and get it here. So we are fetching data from database. Let's assume we are doing so. And actually when we fetch data from database, it takes some time. It depends on internet connection and fetching speed. So it might take one or two or three seconds to fetch data from database. To simulate this delay time, we can do something like this, like this in Flutter. We can say future dot delayed. Then inside the delayed function, it takes two parameters. The first one is delay duration. So we, so we can say const duration. Inside the duration, it takes days or hours, minutes, seconds. So let's say seconds. and let's have three seconds the second parameter in this delayed is actually a function so we can have a function inside here and don't forget the semicolon down there so let's assume that we are fetching our data and we want to print this name after we fetch the database now if i rerun our application it will wait three seconds then it will print lisa down here and it does for example, what if I want to print something here saying all data is printed and rerun our application now. So when we re when we run it again, you can see that all data is printed is printed first, then Lisa is printed secondly. So this code doesn't stop the code below it. So for example, after we get the name, we want to print also the age. So we can say future dot delayed const duration seconds. And let's say this time it takes two seconds. So inside here, I will just say print, for example, 32. Then don't forget the comma as well. If I rerun our application now, we will see that all data is printed, is printed first, then 32 then Lisa. But what if, for example, we want to have the name first, then after we get the name, we want to get the age, then after we get the age, we want to print all data, we want to print them, we want to print the data we got, then we want to print all data is printed. So what we can do, we can have a combination of asyncs and await functions. To do async in a flutter, after the name of the function, we can say async before the bracket. Then if I rerun the application, nothing actually will happen because we're not waiting anything here. So if we want to wait something to execute first, then we want to execute the thing below it. We can actually write await and await do the job for us. So now our application will wait this to print. Then after it prints Lisa, it will execute the code below it. If we rerun the application now, we will see that Lisa is printed first, then all data is printed. Then after two seconds, it will print 32. So we can actually await this as well and rerun the application. And now it will print Lisa, then 32, then all data is printed and it does down here. Now let's assume that we want to get the name first. Then after we get the name, we want to extract it and have it inside a variable. Then we call a function and this function returns the age for us. Then we print the name and the age. Then we print all data is printed. So the first thing I want to do, I will create a function called int get age, for example. And this function take name. Then inside here, I will return 32. Then instead of writing all that, I will just comment it and say get or int age is equal to get age string name. Now we want to have the name. The good thing about await that it allows us to create a variable then store what we waited for inside this variable. So what we can do, we can say string name is equal to await future to delay. So instead of printing Lisa now, we can say return. And now we can pass the name here. If I have semicolon now, 
we won't we would see we won't see anything except for all data is printed but what i want to do i want to cut this and instead of returning it like that i want to paste it here and say this so the first error we're getting that await is not recognizable so we have to say async here then await is recognizable here and i want to return this instead of printing it so but this is not enough actually i have to return the whole await thing here but we are having an error here the end so this is an async function and we're trying to send a normal variable which is end and this doesn't work we have an error here to solve this error we have to say that the return type of this function is actually a future so we have to wrap it inside this angle bracket then before it we have to say future inside it we can have whatever type we want so we can have for example if we don't want to return integer we can return string and inside here we can say string or we can say whatever we want but i will keep it to int now now here we are having an error why because this is an integer and this is a few return a future in so we have to wait until this future is actually done then we can extract the end variable so what we can do we can say await here and this issue is solved now so the next step for us is to print it so i can say now name for example name dash age age and semicolon now if i rerun our application it will actually wait three seconds then it will call this function and this function would wait two seconds then we will have the name and the age and we will print them then we will print all data is printed and this is what's happening down here we are having the name lisa age 32 then all data is printed so now we understand how async and await work and how to use them so let's go back to our application and implement what we were doing but before we do so i want to comment this so we don't wait we actually don't wait like this wait but this would run normally because we are not saying that this main is async and we are not saying await if we do this we have to make this future as well to do so if we do this it would wait until we print all that then it will go as to the uh, it will take us to the run app and material app but we don't actually have to do that we can remove it and rerun our application now if we do so we will have our application running but we will have something here as you can see it printed mark inside the home because in the build function we are saying print map then here it kept work uh, sorry here it kept working normally so i'll go to the home and inside here navigation navigator dot push named before i do anything let me show you what we did inside the second page we said pop context then we sent it through so we need to extract this data to extract it what we can actually do we can say for example since we are returning a boolean we can say bool result is equal to this but this give us an error and before i continue i want to make this nullable because we can actually remove it and it would work fine so i will keep this bool as nullable but our error here is because we need to await this so we have to make this async and we have to write await here and we have to cast this so we have to say as bool with a question mark then after it we need to check if result is different from null because this is a nullable variable so we can't access it if it's null then let's try and say print result with semicolon and let's save it and go to the next page then when we click go to first page we should have a true printed in the console so let's try it go to first page and we do so now we are sending data from the first screen to the second screen and we are returning data from the second screen to the first screen while popping and it actually makes sense to have it as async await because for example when we click go to second page let's assume the user is doing something here and we want to get 
the result of what the user have done here so when we when he for example click on exit or finish or whatever so we pop the screen and we return some data to the previous screen and this is what we are doing right now we are simulating that process